This is a serpentine coil. It can give you electricity if you have rotating magnets. But that's the problem. We've always generated power with rotating magnets. Except Nikolai Tesla's design doesn't need rotating magnets. Now, which is better? So we had to go out and find out to ask AI. And I know some people don't like that because they're giving you answers that normal electricians won't give you. So we went to AI and asked the question, which is better? Believe it or not, they picked the serpentine coil, which we already knew it was because they teach this as the more stable system. Now, let's ask the question. The other one, Nikolai Tesla, puts out more power and is said to be more complicated. So let's look at what they're saying is complicated before we hear what AI has to say. So as we can see in the diagram, I think this is the more simpler design, but they're saying because the motor and because it can break down is more complicated than the serpentine coil. That's just opinion. But let me show you what I made. This design works very well. I mean, extremely well. And when you add additionals to it, like Nikolai, sorry, Nikolai Tesla's patent number 336961 antenna, uh, this works even better. So, why would AI pick the lesser? Let's listen to it so you understand. Both designs involve electromagnetic principles and coil magnet interactions but they differ significantly in structure, function, and energy output characteristics. System one, the serpent coil generator. This generator consists of a single coil shaped in a serpent-like looping pattern. It's wrapped in a circular design and then wrapped around pegs, creating a winding snake-like coil. Here's how it works. Mechanism. When magnets are passed near or around this coil, they induce an electric current within the coil following Faraday's law of induction. As the magnet moves past each loop or section of the coil, it generates alternating current, AC, in and out of each segment of the coil. Output characteristics. The power generated here will depend on the magnet's speed and strength and the coil's inductance. Because it's a single coil, the output will generally be AC, oscillating as the magnetic field interacts with different parts of the coil. Benefits. This design is efficient in generating AC electricity without complex moving parts. It has a simplicity that reduces energy losses from friction or mechanical switching. Limitations. The main limitation lies in output regulation. As it's AC by nature, converting to DC, if needed, might require additional circuitry. System two, double coil DC motor generator. In this system, a double coil or bifolar coil is wrapped around a magnet and this setup is connected to a DC motor, which interrupts the current at high speeds. Mechanism. The double coil structure has two wires, often representing positive and negative, wrapped together, which may enhance the electromagnetic effect. The DC motor periodically stops and starts the electricity flowing through the coil, creating rapid alternations in current. This pulsing effect can generate strong electromagnetic spikes and back EMF electromotive force, especially with high speed switching. Output characteristics. The back EMF and magnetic pulses generate significant spikes in energy, creating high voltage transients that flow through the system. This backflow effect can lead to unique patterns in energy output and can be harnessed as DC if desired. Benefits. This setup can produce high voltage spikes and can create a sort of amplified energy output by leveraging the back EMF effect. This concept was explored by Nikola Tesla to maximize energy transfer and minimize losses. Limitations. However, this design can be more complex due to the DC motor switching mechanism, which adds mechanical wear and tear, 
and could introduce inefficiencies if not optimized for high-speed switching. Hash, similarities and differences. Similarities, both systems rely on magnetic fields and coils to induce electricity, showcasing the electromagnetic induction principle. They both produce pulsing or oscillating currents due to their setups, although the serpent coil generates naturally alternating current, while the double coil motor setup creates controlled DC pulses. Both designs can leverage the effect of high-speed magnetic changes to create energy spikes, a technique associated with Tesla's work. Differences. Design complexity. The serpent coil is simpler, while the double coil motor system involves a more complex setup with an additional DC motor acting as a mechanical switch. Current type. The serpent coil produces AC naturally, whereas the double coil with the motor can produce high voltage DC pulses and back EMF spikes, lending itself to different applications. Energy amplification. The back EMF effect in the double coil setup creates amplified energy spikes, a Tesla-influenced approach that can generate transient voltages significantly higher than the input. The serpent coil lacks this specific amplification effect, instead producing smoother AC waves. Potential output and practical applications. One serpent coil. This generator's simplicity makes it ideal for applications needing a stable, low-maintenance AC source. It would be more suitable for generating steady, consistent AC power that could be rectified if DC is needed. 2. Double coil DC motor setup. This system, with its ability to create high voltage spikes, is better suited for applications where pulse DC or high energy bursts are beneficial. Tesla's name could be associated with this setup due to his experiments with high frequency high voltage spikes and back EMF, techniques he explored extensively in his pursuit of energy amplification. Which is better? The choice depends on the desired application. For reliable, steady AC generation, the serpent coil is ideal due to its simpler design and lower maintenance requirements. For high energy DC spikes and amplified output, the double coil with the DC motor is superior. This design, likely influenced by Tesla's principles, leverages back EMF to generate power spikes, which can be useful in certain types of energy applications, like high-frequency electronics or experiments where transient spikes are valuable. In summary, the double-coil DC motor generator with its high-energy pulsing aligns with Tesla's techniques of using back EMF and transient currents to amplify power. The serpent coil, while simpler, lacks these high-voltage characteristics but provides a stable alternative for continuous AC generation, illustrating a classic, stable, electrical generator design. See the circle down there where primary word is? Try using a motor in these places and seeing if it uses as a switch. The capacitor holds the potential energy and the motor switches this where it says high frequency oscillator so try it you can even try it on a simple design like this if you haven't recognized this this is an energy harvester you can look it up if you don't understand the design now the sky is your capacitor and you're going to take it and shake it back and forth or put frequency in it with the motor it has to be a tiny motor to match what's coming into it because the energy coming in from the harvester has to be able to turn the dc motor because the dc motor is not attached to anything try this experiment and give me your feedback this is a peer review thank you